in primitive vascular plants, one can observe a variety of life cycles. The life cycle of the club moss lycopodium begins when a haploid spore produced from meiosis in the strobilis of a sporophyll from the sporophyte generation, when this haploid spore germinates. The gametophyte is free living, However, in many cases, it is not photosynthetic. Instead, it develops underground, subterranean, um, decomposing material, much in the way a fungus might. It develops short root-like structures known as rhizoids, and it may live for years. At some point, it produces archegonia and antheridia, which then produce sperm and ova, which then can fertilize and produce a diploid zygote. The diploid zygote then undergoes mitosis to uh, develop into the club moss, which most people are familiar with, as the small evergreen plant with small microfill leaves, which some people ha use the common name ground pine or ground cedar for. At some point, specialized leaves, known as sporophylls, produce spores often from a cone-like structure known as a strobilis. These haploid spores then can start a new gametophyte generation. Primitive vascular plants are interesting in that their alternation of generations has about equal roles for the gametophyte and sporophyte generations, which is in contrast to the moss and algae which preceded them where the haploid generation was dominant, and the ferns and seed plants which came after the earliest lycopods in which the sporophyte generation is dominant.